Jacob Ross, film guy here. DVD menus, huh? Oh. We all remember the Shrek 2 menu, the Madagascar menu, Coraline, Finding Nemo, or even Cars. All of these menus hold a nostalgic place in my heart. The DVD menu is one of the best ways to gear yourself up for a brand new movie that you just bought or rented. To immerse yourself in that film's world the moment you pop in that DVD. The DVD menu in itself is kind of an art form that goes along with the film, its cover art, disc art, and even the special features. In my eyes, it's kind of like a giant bundle for one film. Today, I'm gonna to talk about what I think to be some of the best and worst DVD menus ever made. Whether it's from the nostalgia of my childhood, some unique ones I've seen, or just some of the worst menus ever created. To answer the question if DVD menus are declining in quality, and to see what truly makes a good menu. This question's a lot more interesting than you think. Please don't click off. It's the early 2000s and you just popped in your new DVD you got for your birthday. After watching through all the trailers, you are greeted by the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life. The Shrek 2 DVD menu is perhaps one of the best things I've ever seen. A fully interactive menu that is obviously making a parody of the Brady Bunch intro with all of our favorite Shrek characters in each box. I remember just sitting there and watching this play out in full before pressing play. It's almost a mandatory thing to do, to sit there and just watch each character aggressively yell at one another until they all shut up and awkwardly look around like now it's your turn to speak. But this isn't all this menu has to offer. They have games too? Holy shit! The Far Far Away Idol is by far one of the best special features to ever come packed into a DVD. It has multiple endings too, like are you serious? If they ever decide to put this shit on Steam one day, I'll probably put a thousand hours into it and unlock every ending. Everyone. For what is a Even the scene selection menu, special features, and fucking audio options have clips of the movie that don't make it feel lifeless. Each box you click on leads to something fun to play around with or look at. Seriously, whoever made this menu deserves a stake and some head, but I'm not gonna be the one to give it to them, so which one of you is gonna volunteer? The Fight Club menu, much like the film, is something you just have to experience for yourself. I bet everyone had the same reaction when they first bought this. But if you haven't had the pleasure of seeing it for yourself, allow me to share with you just how fucking insane it is. The first time I saw this, my jaw hit the floor, and then I laughed so hard I almost choked on my popcorn. I bet you that someone out there had seen this opening, turned it off, and sent it back to the store for a new copy, only to realize that this is actually the real menu for Fight Club. It fits the tone and story of Fight Club perfectly, and is one of the best menus out there. I wonder if the DVD for Never Been Kissed tricks you into thinking it's a copy of Fight Club instead. Even the Saw DVD menus go disgustingly hard as fuck. What's a better way to gear yourself up for the bloodbath you're about to witness than with an intro like this? Feel free to screenshot, this shit's hard as fuck. The Finding Nemo menu, although having a very simple layout, is possibly the most relaxing menu I've ever seen. Exploring this menu is about the same as the Shrek 2 menu. Fun to explore, great music, and very immersive. If I was on my deathbed and all I had playing in the background was this menu, I'd probably be at peace as my brain and body stopped functioning. Alright, time for a rapid round of all my favorite and nostalgic menus. Drum roll, please. Coraline, The Matrix, Hot Fuzz, Garfield, yes, fucking Garfield, Cars, Every Criterion Menu, Rango, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Fantastic Mr. Fox, Alvin and the Chipmunks, I'm not fucking sorry, Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, Iron Man, and Madagascar. If I missed any, then I'm sorry to my child self for leaving out Underdog, and any others that I didn't remember. Oh yeah, Underdog. <laughs> Today, it's pretty hard to find any menus that compare to the ones from the past, like, let's just grab one from my shelf. Huh, let's see. Something new. 
Okay, how about the Mario movie? I'm sure this one's gonna have something cool for the menu. Huh. Well, it's just a still image of the poster in the exact same artwork as the case. Okay, how about another? Let's go with the Lego movie. I remember getting this back when it came out in 2014, and I was super excited to see what the disc art in the menu would look like. I know, I was that fucking annoying as a kid. Well, we have the two main characters on the discs, but I haven't seen this in a long while, so I bet that this one has some cool Lego animations all throughout the menu. It's the same as the cover art again. This is when young Jacob's hopes and dreams died. This isn't even really a new thing to use a still image for the menu. Disney's An Extremely Goofy Movie did the same thing, and it even had games on it. Oh shit! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> you goofed! Well, I didn't expect Goofy to call me a fucking moron today, so let's move on. In the digital era, it's hard to tell whether or not physical media distributors are going to continue to make interesting and memorable menus for their physical media releases. If they continue to make cool ones or not, that's fine. Not every movie needs to have this crazy interactive menu for it to be a good physical release. Although recent menus aren't anything crazy, more just a compilation of the film's shots. You know, at least it's something. It's not just a still image with music. So what exactly makes a good and memorable menu? I think it's the ones that bring a whole other experience that accompanies a full movie. To me, the greatest movie menus always seem to share the same feel and tone of the movie you're about to watch. It's to immerse yourself into a film's world before you even press play. It's kind of the exact same principle as well when it comes to video games. How fucking boring is it when you have this colorful poster for the Mario movie and then you just show me the exact same image on the DVD menu? How would you feel if the Mario games just opened up with an image of the cover art and music and that's all you got? Like, how boring would that be? Mario Kart! Never mind. Well, you know what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> Why is it that technology is advancing at such a quick rate nowadays, but the art and beauty of DVD menus has seemed to be forgotten? Is it laziness? I'm not entirely sure. There are still so many great companies out there that make great menus to this day. But to be honest, I find it pretty rare. I think the magic of the movie poster, not the poster, that was a different video. I think the magic of the movie menu has reached its peak probably about a decade ago. And sooner or later, it's simply just not going to exist anymore. Menus have become exactly what the word means. It's a menu. It's nothing crazy. At least we still have all the memories made from these special DVD menus, games, and special features. And all we have to do to revisit them is to just pop in that DVD. Or just watch a YouTube video of it. I mean, that works too. <laughs> I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. The continued support on this channel has been amazing and greatly appreciated by me. On a more personal note, college is starting back up soon for me, but I'm going to try so fucking hard to keep enough energy from work and school to provide you guys with enough quality content on this channel. Thank you again, and I'll see you soon. Have a good night.